Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. <clears throat> Today I have a beer from a new brewing company. Um, they are out of Denver, North Carolina, not Denver, Colorado. Um, Denver, North Carolina is a northern suburb of Charlotte, which is somewhat close to where I live. Um, <clears throat> this brewery actually opened in the middle of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and uh, but I'm guessing they didn't really have a choice because... Uh, Loans probably started to become due, so, um, you know, I'm trying to support them because that really sucks to open during that time. I haven't had anything from them yet. I have not been there. Um, I grabbed this at a bottle shop today, but they look like, or the place looks really nice. Um, the food looks fantastic, so I, I definitely want to go there and eat, too. Um, but I figured at least this way I can uh, try their beer and see what I think of that. So this beer is called Citrus Jack. It is a uh, pale ale with uh, kvake yeast. You can see right there. It's a uh, 5.8% ABV. Um, and... Oh yeah, so the brewery is called Royal Bliss. And I don't think I said that. Not to be confused with King Canary, which is also close to that area. Um... It says easy drinking pale ale with plenty of citrus flavor and aroma. So I don't know. I don't think there's citrus citrus in this. I think there's citra hops. Um, I'd have to look it up again. But <clears throat> crack it open and see what we got. And anyone who thinks that uh, IBUs have anything to do with actual hop flavor, this says right here it's 13 IBU. Um, you know, unless this has like no hop flavor, which I would be surprised. Uh, you know, that's a good example that IBUs are not. Um, the best indicator of uh, actual hop flavor. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. Uh, I'm using a uh, tablet now instead of my phone. Um, so you can see it pours a very, very cloudy, um, bright straw color. I mean, it is it is pretty light. It looks like it's even lighter than it looks in the, than what I see in the camera there. Um, <clears throat> with a... Uh, small white head um it looks a lot like pineapple juice really <clears throat> so the description does not lie it is very citrusy um a lot of orange but it's it's somewhere in between like like freshly squeezed juice and pith it's not like super it doesn't smell like it's going to be super bitter like pithy but it's also not like super juicy it's somewhere in the middle of that um i, I do get some like grassy character too as well and there's a little bit of lime too it smells pretty good though let's, let's take a sip Um, so it definitely is uh, citrusy um, it's more orange than anything I do get a little hint of uh, like tropical pineapple in the back end a little bit of that like mosaic bo character um i would say the bitterness is um it's pretty much on point it's uh this is definitely not sweet uh it's really weird like it has this this strong like honey biscuity flavor up front where you think it's going to finish sweet and then it drops off like that and it's actually pretty dry um I will say, like, I think the flavor profile is pretty good. Um, it's not, like, my favorite hop profile. I don't know exactly what's in this. But to me, it's one of those things, you know, sometimes you an IPA and it's like, yeah, I think it's good, not great, but it's not because it was poorly made. It's just those combination of hops are not my favorite. So it's one of those things where it's, you know, you can tell it's personal preference. It's not, like, poor, not how well or poorly it was made. I 
It has a little bit of that, like, mosaic B.O. character to it as well. And there's something that I'm getting, like, way, way, way in the back that is just a titch, a titch of diacetyl. But again, it's so minimal that, A, it might just be me thinking that, and it's not, I, I'm not really getting it. Because sometimes I think I, I should, that just plays with my mind. I don't know why. But I know I am, like, very, very sensitive to it. So even if I am getting it, I know that... Unless it's someone else that's very, very sensitive to it, there's no way you would get it because it's very, very faint for me. I had to like really, really dig in to see if there were, I got any of it. So, And it's almost, in these types of beers, it's really hard to not have like a, a tiny titch of it. So it's definitely not detracting my enjoyment out of this at all. Now... Really, the only complaint I would have about this, and it's not a complaint as much as it is just something that I, what I would prefer that they adjust, would be the um, the water profile. It's it tastes like they used very hard water. It's not um, like soft at all, and I think that could if they did that, that would bring out the aroma even more, and it would just make it for an easier drinking experience. But overall. Um, this is a really tasty, uh, hazy IPA slash pale ale. Um, I love, I love the fact that it's under 6% because it, um, it definitely packs a punch. You know, I don't know. I wouldn't consider this as anything above 5%. I don't, I don't consider it a session beer, but this is light enough, you know, you can crush through a four pack of this and not be too loopy. Uh, so on my inaugural rating for these guys, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more because I'm pretty impressed by this. Um, I'm definitely going to give this a buy and you can probably see the sticker right here. It says $6, but I got this in a pretty overpriced bottle shop. Um, the only reason I bought it there is because it was easier for me to get it that way than go to the brewery and I could buy a single to try it versus having to buy a whole four pack. But if this, if I bought this somewhere else, it would be like five bucks max. So I know that the brewery's not like jacking up the prices. So just, so I wanted to make sure someone saw that they didn't think that that was the price from the brewery because that would not, I could almost guarantee it wouldn't be that expensive there. Um, <clears throat> I'm guessing at the brewery it's probably somewhere between 16 and 18, which is perfectly reasonable for this. Um, it's a really, really good beer. So yeah, I think that's all I got in this one. Um, I'm gonna, I will put in the description what hops are in this. I apologize for not looking up ahead of time. I would like to know myself. So that's all I got in this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.